Right guys, we're going to have a little look at today is something called Momentum. Um, you can see some momentum in action there. It's a word you've probably used quite a lot, um, but never necessarily um, gone and used it as an engineering context. But <coughs> if we have a little think about it here, what is momentum? So the, the dictionary definition of momentum, or one definition, is uh, the impetus gained by a moving object. So when we say we've got a body of an, ob a body, uh, an object's moving, you know, it's got momentum if it's got a velocity. So if it's got a mass and a velocity, it therefore has momentum. So the formula that links these together is P, momentum, small p, not capital, that's for someone else, is equal to the mass times the velocity. So let's have a think about what units we'd have if we um, were calculating momentum. Correct. We've got kilogram meters per second, so that's a small p, just to reiterate. Capital P for power. Check out the other videos on that, um, should you uh, need any of that info. Okay, <coughs> so, going through, we've got a question here. Calculate the momentum of an 8 kilogram object moving at 2.5 meters per second. And as always, I've made a nice little list of my known values here. Yeah, so if I know these values, I can calculate my momentum. So I'm going to lay the formula. P is equal to mv. So P equals 8 times 2.5 so p equals 20 kilogram meters per second easy or is it no it is easy right so something else that we need to consider when we're doing maths and uh, we're doing engineering and science is something called the conservation of momentum so if something's been conserved it means it can't be created or destroyed all right, so the definition of conservation momentum is the momentum in a system before collision. So before is equal to the momentum after. So I've got an object, it hits another object. I can work out what's going on in that system if I know what the momentum is. Okay, so the formula that links them. So I've got momentum is equal to mass times initial velocity. So this is the before bit. So if an object's moving, it's got initial velocity. And then the mass and velocity is for the after. So don't forget to check out the videos on SUVA um, for what these U and V represent. So you've got U as initial, V as final velocity. Well, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll have a little uh, go at using this. So I've got a pile driving armor. It's got a mass of 700 kilograms. It falls from 3.2 meters um, onto another mass of 200. The velocity of the initial the hammer, which is the big mass, is 20 meters per second. Um, when it collides with the other object, there's no rebound. Calculate the velocity of the pile. Now this is a process that we've um, I've never really seen before, uh, but it's called piling. And they use it when they're putting large structures into ground. So they can see this big steel post that's inside here. There's a big hammer. That big hammer hits that steel post and it drives it into the ground. So imagine you've got a big hammer so that's mass one, and then it's coming down and it's hitting another object, that'll be mass two. Because at the beginning, I've got one mass, and at the end, I've got two masses. So I'll, I'll annotate this. So I've got a particular height here, which has got 3.2 meters. I've got 700 kilograms as that mass, and I've got 200 kilograms as that mass. When this object has fallen, it's got a velocity of 20 meters per second. So this question here is asking us to calculate the velocity of this object. Right, so let's go ahead. We'll use our values and we'll use our conservation momentum and we'll be able to find out what V is. So let's get the, the formula. So we'll have MU equals MV. All right. Now we need to expand this slightly because as we can see, we've got two M's. So M1U is equal to m1 plus m2 because when that mass there hits that one they both become part of the system so we have to add those two together and multiply that by v so let's go we'll plump some numbers in so we'll have 700 times 20 is equal to 700 plus 200 times v so we'll, we'll do the calculation, well our V is equal to 14,000, divide that by 900, and I'll give you a sec to stick that on your calculator. 
and we'll get an answer of 15.5 meters per second. What do you reckon? Easy. We'll just make a little list there, uh, so we'll highlight that, 15 meters per second. That's the velocity of that pile as it goes into the ground. Now that will actually be the velocity of the big one as well, and because they're all part of the one system. So nice and easy. Right, let's um, try it from a slow, different ang angle now. Okay. So I've got this time I've got a, a truck. It's going to crash into a, a big, a, a big car of some description. So I've got some different units to consider this time when I'm talking about mass. So I've got a 20 ton. Okay, so we've got mass one, this is mass one, and this will be mass two. All right, so this uh, truck is traveling along. It's got a mass of 20 kilograms. It's traveling along at 10 meters a second. So it's velocity here. So this is the initial velocity is equal to 10 meters per second. Now this has also got an initial velocity. So I'll call that U1 and I'll call that U2. And that's going to equal 12 meters per second. So I've got these answers in my questions, or the values in my questions. Now if you need, can't remember how to transfer between tons and kilograms, check out the um, first video on the basics when we're talking about units. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll solve this problem. So we're trying to calculate what this V2 is. Now if we read the question here, um, we've got a body, it's got a mass of 10. Yeah. And that's got a, a mass of 20 thousand, 20 times 10 to the 3, times that by a velocity. Okay, so we'll lay this up. So we've got m u equals m v. We're going to expand those a little bit. So before the collision, we've got that mass. So we've got m1 times u1 plus m2, because this object's also got momentum u2 I just realized I've not added that to the list oh no I have I've just called it v so I'll call that u that's going to equal m1 plus m2 and that's going to equal v all right so we'll go now what we have to be careful with here is this object this mass is traveling in that direction and that one's traveling in a different direction Okay, so we need to give that some consideration when we're putting these values in. So we've got 20 kilogram, 20,000 kilograms, 20 times 10 to the 3, times the initial velocity of that object, which is 10. I'm going to add that to the mass of the other one, which is 5 times 10 to the 3. Now because that vehicle there, that second mass is traveling in that direction, it's actually got a minus in front of that because it's moving in, in the opposite direction and that's going to equal the mass there which is 20 times 10 to the 3 plus 5 times 10 to the 3 times the velocity okay okay all right so let's um we're going to have to expand those brackets so we'll have 200 times 10 to the 3 5 times minus 12 minus 60 times 10 to the 3 and that's going to equal 25 times 10 to the 3 times velocity so that that comes over we'll rewrite that v equals 200 and you can leave those 10 to the 3s off when you're doing these and just make sure you add anything on at the end um, 60 times 10 to the 3 i'm going to divide that by 25 times 10 to the so V in that case is going to equal, you've got it, 5.6 meters per second. All right. So that is the velocity of this object here and that one when that collision takes place. Now let's have a little look at the, the value we've got there. Oops. So we've got 5.6. Now there's not there's a positive in front of there. I know I didn't write it on, but there's a positive. So what that means there is that positive, when that object hits that one, that whole system goes in that direction. Alright, now if this was flipped run, 
and the big truck was coming from the right and the small one was coming from the left, then we'd probably find that we'd have a minus in there. Right? So just keep an eye on that because there's some questions that you're going to answer which will ask you what direction the objects are travelling in after the collision is taking place. So bear that in mind. And the same thing applies for vertical. Positive up, negative down. Like we did when we went back to our uh, forces. So we'll do V is equal to 5.6 meters per second. Okay. Now, just one last thing there. You may see a question that might ask you to do a calculation, find out velocity in kilometers an hour. So I simply do 5.6 times 3.6. And again, check out the earlier videos if you don't know where that 3.6 is coming from. I'll stick that in. You get run about 19. I'll let you find out what the answer is. Okay, okay. Right, now, next slide. There's some questions on here for you. All right. First two, the sort of um, simpler versions, just a little bit more uh, complicated than, than what we've been working on. Um, in fact, no more complicated. Just something else to consider. Now, we've got kilometers an hour on there. We've got kilometers an hour. That's something else we need to give some consideration to. All right. Now, when we get down to this further example bit, getting a little bit trickier, um, but I'm pretty confident you'll be able to work your way through these. Okay, okay. Now, once again, um, momentum. Again, hard try. Take your eyes off that. Have a go. And if in doubt, as I've always said, give me a shout. I'll help you as much as I can. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.